Greetings fellow guitar travellers, it's Rowan J Parker here, I'm presenting to you episode 1 of The Whittler, which is named after my favourite Batman character, though I found Jim Carrey's iteration of it pretty annoying. Actually the credit for the invention of this title goes to Mr Owen Nicholson, who was a great buddy of mine while I was in music college back in the 1990s, a thoroughly nice bloke and a top musician, so shout out to you Owen inspirational stuff mate for coming up with this. So um, this series of lessons is going to feature mostly more straightforward licks, ideas that shouldn't be too taxing so they're aimed at intermediate level players um, and can help just expand your vocabulary. We'll be whacking them up to a fair old tempo though so even though they are straightforward licks when we get them fast although they sound super cool. All right so looking forward to this very much let's get rocking and rolling with episode one of the Whittler! <laughs> Okay, that was a very short and sweet quick lick and it's only six notes, okay? So let's get right down to showing you how to play it. You're going to start on G5 with your third finger and then pull off to G3 with the index finger and then pull the index finger off to the open G. So it's pick, pull, pull. G5, G3, G. And that's it. And that's the first three notes. Incredibly basic lick, but a great lick just on its own. Super duper cool. And it's exactly the same thing on the D string. We're going to go uh, D5 with the third finger and then pull off to D3 with the index finger and then index finger off to the open D. And just like that. Pick, pull, pull. Okay. Another great, very simplistic lick. <laughs> you sure you get the idea. All right, then we stick uh, both parts together. Six notes down. And that's it. Super simple. And we just uh, ramp it up. Easy peasy. Um, rhythmically, it's going to sound like 16th note triplets, um, which does sound like it's going to be very fast, but actually the mechanics of the lick is pretty easy uh, to keep in tempo, and once you've got the pull-offs going, that's an easy lick, but it does sound awesome though. Alright, so let's just talk a little bit about the articulation. When I start to play the lick, I'm starting off with a little bit of right hand palm muting, where I take the heel of my hand, and lay it on the bridge and just muffle or dampen the sound of the strings slightly. Not too much, you don't want to choke it to death. Just a little bit of a mute. Okay? And play the lick with that mute. Which has got a nice sort of percussive sound to it. Really nice percussive sound. And then all I'm going to do is gradually release the mute. So it starts off with a palm mute. and then gradually release it and start to dig in with the plectrum and hopefully we can get some artificial harmonic overtones. If you're not quite clear how to produce artificial harmonics, um, what to do is hold the plectrum extremely close to the edge of your thumb, so you can see there's only a tiny bit of plectrum sticking out there, hope you can see that, and what happens is that you strike the string with the plectrum and then directly after you strike it, you're going to touch the string with your thumb. So that's how you get the overtone. And you can go fishing along the string and get different harmonics. If you're not used to this, it does take a little bit of practice. It's a little bit hit and miss to, uh, sometimes. Sometimes you'll get harmonic and sometimes it'll just sound like goo, goo, goo. You won't get it. But that can sound cool as well, actually. It can sound sort of percussive, muted sound. So uh, it's a little bit trial and error, but uh, getting to it should be fine. So all I'm doing is, uh, you know, playing the lick with a plectrum, held very close to the edge of the thumb, hopefully we're going to get some of those artificial harmonic overtones. Alright, and that's the lick, um, you can ramp this up really quick, you can get it to 150 beats a minute and above um, with a bit of practice, and uh, for this last demonstration I will ramp it up basically as fast as I can play it, just so you can have a good listen to uh, what it sounds like at uh, you know 
full on monster shred tempo but as I say the lick itself is basically straightforward to play and loads of fun and I love little licks like this because they're not difficult and they sound fantastic and above all most importantly they're achievable <laughs> unlike some of the other licks I've shown so far which have been pretty hard this one's easy peasy alright so uh, here we go for the final demonstration I'm going to ramp this right up to a, a quick tempo and let's have a listen right here we go <laughs> Complete nonsense, but totally awesome. Well, that wraps it up for episode one of The Whittler. And uh, tune in next week for yet another episode of simple but awesome sounding shredding goodness. Uh, before I go, I'd like to encourage you to head on over to my website, which is www.rowanjparker.com, uh, where there's a whole ton of material, and much of it is free. There's uh, backing tracks, there's lessons, uh, there's downloadables, all sorts of cool stuff. There's also a shop, you can buy stuff if you want. Uh, it has uh, feature length uh, instruction videos and uh, books, uh, jam tracks, tons of stuff you need to check out. Um, I'm also on uh, other various other social network sites. You can get me on uh, Facebook. I have a Facebook page, Rowan J. Parker. I'm also on SoundCloud, at Rowan Dash Parker. I'm also on Twitter, at Rowan J. Parker. And uh, I'm also on YouTube, which hopefully you're watching right now. Um, and the YouTube channel is uh, Rowan J. Parker. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. It's been a blast showing you this uh, fun, simple little stuff. And uh, much more to come. All right, and... Uh, Again, Owen, you're a star. This is an inspired idea. Love it. All right, cheers. Ramon G. Parker, signing off. <laughs>